I admit that this is a question that initially looks hairy. I promise that after you see me do it though, you'll realize that it's a little bit simpler than it initially appears. In this question, we're told that we have a chamber that contains 0 0.750 atmospheres of nitrogen and 0 0.208 atmospheres of oxygen. The volume of that chamber is six liters, the temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. Then we introduce this liquid called diethyl ether. The instant it goes in there, it evaporates. We're also given the density parenthetically. We're then asked to calculate, first of all in part A, the uh, partial pressure of diethyl ether. Well, using the, the PV equals NRT equation, you uh, should know that or recognize that pressure of any gas is going to be equal to NRT divided by V. We're also told parenthetically that the amount of diethyl ether that is thrown into the system is 5 milliliters. So once again, according to Dalton's law, we don't have to worry about the other gases in order to determine the individual pressure of diethyl ether. We can treat it as if it were a chamber containing nothing except for diethyl ether uh, for the purpose of determining the individual pressure of the diethyl ether. We have uh, R, the ideal gas constant. We have T, which is 35 degrees Celsius. We, of course, have to convert that to Kelvin by adding 273.15. That uh, equals 308.15 Kelvins. The volume is given to us uh, of the chamber. This is not the volume of the diethyl ether thrown in there. It's the volume of the chamber, the chamber 6 liters. So we have all of these values. The only one that we're lacking is the number of moles. We're told that we have 5 milliliters of diethyl ether. Can we somehow convert that into moles? Well, yeah, we're going to do some dimensional analysis. We're also told that diethyl ether has a density of 0.7134 grams per milliliter, which means that if I have one milliliter of this, it weighs 0.7134 grams. I don't have one milliliter. I've got five milliliters, but I'm getting a little bit closer to determining the total, total number of moles. I can now write down one mole of diethyl ether, whose formula is C2H5O, C2H5O, uh, yeah, yeah, that thing equals a certain number of grams. Now we can calculate that out by recognizing each carbon weighs 12, oxygen weighs 16, hydrogens weigh, uh, five, or weigh one each. And I calculate that out as being 74 grams. The grams cancel each other out. And I now have used this value and this density to determine that the total number of moles of diethyl ether that we've actually thrown into this system is 0 0.0482. And I'm kind of uh, throwing sig figs uh, under the rug for right now. So I now have N, the total number of moles. Now all I have to do is come down here and calculate P. Pressure is going to be equal to N, which is 0 0.0482 moles, multiplied by the ideal gas constant, which is 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin, multiplied by the temperature, which is in Kelvins, 308.15. That is all divided by volume, which the volume of the chamber is 6 liters. The liters cancel each other out. The moles cancel each other out. The kelvins cancel each other out. I'm left with the units of atmosphere, which is what I'm looking for. When I throw that into my calculator, I end up getting 0 0.203 total atmospheres for diethyl ether. In part B of this question, it tells us the partial pressures of nitrogen, oxygen in the chamber already. We've now added to that 0 0.203 atmospheres of pressure from the diethyl ether. It asks us to calculate the total pressure in the whole system. Now, according to Dalton's law, the total pressure of a chamber that has multiple gases in it is equal to the individual pressures of each gas added together. So all I have to do is add the pressure of the nitrogen, the pressure of the oxygen, and the pressure of the diethyl ether all together, and that will give me the total pressure of the system.